Hi all, hope this finds you well. Today I'm going to talk really quickly about the heart, straight, heart uh, straps for the, um, for the Garmin watches and all the, whatever watch you've got. I've got a Garmin watch, I've had a Garmin watch from the beginning pretty much, so uh, I've got a number of these and some of them have failed. So don't necessarily suggest that the Garmin ones, the original genuine ones, uh, are any better than like the additional ones. So I've got these which is HA Sports. Um, they're pretty they're pretty good because I've got a number of these and then I just um, fit them onto the um, the, uh, the strap because they, they push on and push off. Really useful. All I would say if you're going to buy um, a different type of one, try and get one that comes off with a spoon. I, it's got the, uh, the little bit at the back, the same as the Garmin ones that you can just take off with a spoon rather than the small kind of um, screwdriver bits because they're really fiddly. Now then, <clears throat> make sure that you get, when you order your um, strap, get a, uh, a battery tester, just a small one such as that, all right? It's gonna be really useful because with these what with these um, these batteries that you uh, you can get in these, I think they're, they're 32 um, 20s or whatever they are, they're quite small as you can see. And let's have a look. They're uh, Duracell 2032s, okay? There are two different side types of those, so make sure that you just get the right one. Uh, this one obviously takes the 2032 one, and I think there's something like a 2042 or 3032, something like that anyway. So make sure you get the correct one for that. But also, check them, okay? And if I show you by this, you can put the, the bottom part on there and that part on there, and you'll see that my meter goes straight up into the green. Now, as you can see, it's partly in the, it's partly in the red. And I wanted to use this as an example, and it reminded me a little bit. It's in the red there a little bit. When you move it around, you, you'll get a good idea of where it's at. Now that one is starting to fail, so I wore it today and the heart rate was a little bit low and then it would jump up a little bit and just it wasn't acting spot on. It's because the battery's gone dead, all right? So as soon as it pretty much gets into the, um, starting to come away from the green part, it's dead. Now when you buy these batteries, buy the good ones, all right? I'm still getting through the shite ones that I bought that are called whatever. And when you open all the packets, I had like packs of 10, most of them were only just in the green, all right? And they only last a few weeks because it seems to me like it's chucking out the signal to try and link up with your watch all the time. They don't last that long. So at least twice, three times a month, I'm changing the battery in these. And I've got seven heart strap monitors and only five of them work. And so out of the five that are working, I'm constantly changing the batteries because they don't last that long. So top tips for today is make sure you buy the bulk batteries, but maybe get the uh, Energizer ones or the Duracell ones. They seem to be a lot better. They're more um, likely to be fully charged and have good charge in them when you actually buy them. Um, the reason why I kind of have five of these and I have seven is because I didn't work that out for a while and I was buying the batteries, putting them in and thinking, fucking that one doesn't work either and that one doesn't work. And then once I bought the, um, the, the, uh, the battery meter, I established that most of the batteries that I was buying were, had been sat on a shelf probably for four or five years and they were going dead anyway. So it's worth buying good batteries, making sure that you buy in these where they've got a twist cap at the back so the battery comes off nice and easy. And every now and again, just making sure that you test it because there's nothing worse going out and you go and watch it, it's giving you um, incorrect results because that's all that happened. If you're working at 150, 160 beats per minute and it seems to drop down, it's working at 142. It's not going to give you a loading and you're gonna, it's going to disrupt your whole loading for that week, isn't it? Thanks for listening. Chat soon.